So OpenAI's Sora will be coming to Adobe Premiere Pro. Now Adobe just announced that they're going to be adding a bunch of new features to Adobe Premiere Pro. Generative AI with a new generative AI video model. Now this new video model will be able to do quite a lot of different things and it's going to not only feature the Adobe Firefly model for video, it's also going to feature OpenAI Sora, Runway's model and Pika's model. You can use those ones if you want to inside of Premiere Pro. Now Adobe are saying these new features are going to be coming this year, bringing a range of new generative AI features to Premiere Pro soon. Now these features are going to be generative extend, objects addition, object removal. Now some of these features already exist inside of After Effects. And if you've watched my AI PC video, you will know that there are already quite a lot of really useful AI features inside of Premiere Pro, including the transcript feature, which is amazingly powerful for productivity. Some of these features I use all the time. Some of them I've tried once and maybe haven't used again, but let's take a look at the new ones. They're all using generative AI. They're using the Adobe model for generative AI video. So it's been about a year since they came out with their Firefly for, for Photoshop and six months since they came out with excellent vector-based Firefly model for Illustrator. This is going to be the one for Premiere Pro. So let's take a look at what these features are going to be able to do. Now the features are going to be inside of Premiere Pro itself and you should be able to do number one object replacement. Now what they're demonstrating here is adding an object. In this case we're going to make a selection and then we're going to add some diamonds to this particular case. And there you go. Boom. So that looks pretty impressive. And what they're showing here is playback with the items in place inside of the scene. So it has some kind of contextual capabilities. You will also be able to remove objects using Adobe Firefly. And here we've got, we've got the automatic de detection the thing that appears when you hover. That is automatic detection that appears inside of Photoshop. We're going to be seeing this inside of Premiere Pro. So you can remove anything that has a logo or brand name that you don't want to have inside your video. Now they actually demonstrated some of these features at Adobe Max in, in the fall of last year, in the autumn of last year. But this is something new. You're going to be able to extend a video and using the Adobe Firefly model, you just extend the video and it will generate new content based on whatever it sees. Obviously, it's going to be aware of obviously of the con context that you're working with. So very similar to the way Photoshop works, except of course, this is going to be video. And the thing that really is kind of amazing is that they're going to be allowing third party models inside of the new Premiere Pro and not just third party models, but all the major ones are going to be uh, apparently included. So we've got the ability to use Pika, which is one of the early models for creating video. And here we're just extending a, <laughs> we're just extending a video using Pika. And even more amazingly, we're going to be able to create original scenes using uh, generative AI. So the user interface is going to be familiar to anyone who's used Photoshop, but here they're actually demonstrating OpenAI's Sora model, completely new scenes that you'll be able to use inside of your, of your video. I think this is going to be really useful. I think this one is going to be excellent for pretty much anyone who's using Premiere Pro and needs to add any, anything extra that they haven't got footage for. Now in these examples, we've seen Pika and OpenAI, but they'll also have the runway model and you'll be able to use these models inside of Premiere Pro and it's going to automatically stamp them with the recognition of whatever AI you used for that particular edit. That's the same thing that happens inside of Photoshop. So this is pretty exciting. And they haven't got an arrival date, but they're saying that it's going to be this year and pretty soon. So I'm very excited for this. And if you want to learn more about this, definitely subscribe for more videos because I think this is one that I'll be keeping an eye on. I've been very impressed with the vector based model that they come out with. And I hope that they improve that because it can do with even more, even more finesse. And this new one here will keep Adobe competitive because I'm pretty sure that they're competitors are looking to add this kind of functionality inside of their platforms as well. So subscribe for more of this type of content and I'll have some useful links in the description. Solitario, mental.